GameStop and AMC are probably the most impressive things I've ever seen when it comes to investing. They're definitely the most exciting things I've ever seen. Now, if you haven't been captivated by what's going on in the past week and into the weeks ahead, you need to watch this video. We're going to kind of go over a little bit about what's going on here, why these stocks are shooting up, why there's so much interest in them. We're going to go over short selling and short squeezing and what exactly this means. And if you're late to the party, this is going to be an excellent recap of what's happening. And if you're already in the party and you're one of the boys that's holding these stocks, Let's hold on, hold the line, and let's stay true. We gotta keep those diamond hands, right guys? All right, now if this sounds like something you're interested in, let's get started. What's up everybody, I'm Clay. I'm here to make 2021 the best year ever. We're gonna grow our portfolios together and we're just gonna grow together. Now if you like the content on this channel, please don't forget to click that like button. If the subscribe button is still red, do me a favor, subscribe to the channel, become a bro, and let's grow together. All right, now in this video, we're going to be talking about GameStop, we're going to be talking about AMC, what's happening with these prices, where we think these prices are going to go, and we're going to kind of discuss a little bit about what short selling is and what a short squeeze is for those of you who may not understand just yet. All right, so in order to understand short squeeze, you first need to understand what shorting a stock means. So if you short a stock, you're basically selling that stock at the current price, in hopes and expectations to buy it back later at a lower price. Now, normally when people think about buying and selling stocks, they think that you should buy low first and then sell high later. Well, shorting a stock is the exact opposite. You sell the stock high in hopes to buy it back later at a lower price. You're essentially selling high and then buying low. Now, a short squeeze occurs, and this is what's really going on lately. The institutions, Wall Street, the big banks, they were betting on failure for companies like GameStop and AMC, theater chain. And, you know, really, if you think about it in a fundamental stance, it kind of makes sense, right? The pandemic's going on, movie theater chains had to close, and, and the big banks kind of were betting against them, thinking that there's no way they're going to survive the pandemic, so they took out a ton of short positions on AMC, on GameStop, and companies like this, hoping to drive the price lower in expectations that these companies would not rebound and they would therefore be able to buy these shares back at an extremely low price and cover all of their positions. Not so fast, right? Now, there's a group on Reddit called Wall Street Bets. It's a group of investors. You can think of it, if you're not exactly sure what, what Reddit is, it's a group of investors, retail investors, that got together and said, not today, big boys. We're not going to let you do these. Or we're not going to let you do this to companies like GameStop and AMC. So what did they decide? They decided that we're going to go in and we're going to buy these shares and we're going to hold these shares. Why? What's the strategy behind it? And this is where the short squeeze comes into play. So if we've got a bunch of people buying these shares and driving the share price higher, eventually it's going to squeeze out these institutions that were shorting the stock. Now, why is this? Because as the share price rises, think about it. If Wall Street and the big banks are going to go in there and cover their positions, they have to buy it back at a higher price, right? Well, as the stock price goes higher and higher and higher, and these guys are continuing to hold and not allowing these shares to be sold, guess what's going to happen? The big banks, the institutions aren't going to be able to buy this, the share price back. They're not going to be able to buy the stock back, and therefore, they're going to have to buy it back at such a high price. And as they do, with less shares available to trade, it's really going to drive the stock price even higher in an exponential fashion, right? So that's the plan, is to drive the stock price so high that all of these banks, these institutions, these hedge fund managers lose out because they were betting against companies that we really believe in and that were behind and we back. Now, is the fight over yet? Absolutely not, right? We've seen over the last couple days, big banks, institutions, they're kind of banding together and bending the rules, even cheating. They're limiting the amount of shares that you can buy. They're just saying, no, you can't buy these shares in GameStop anymore. You have to sell the shares. You can only sell the shares. It's like, what are we seeing here? We're seeing the big boys cheat because they want to win. And when people start cheating, you know they're scared, right? When the only alternative you have and the only hope you have to get out of a situation is to cheat, you know you're backed into a corner. 
So we've got them on the fence, guys. We know that we can take them, and all you got to do is hold the stock and hold out. Now, I know a lot of people are sitting on profits right now. And if you're, listen, we've got two new phrases that we're looking at here, diamond hands and paper hands. If you're not familiar with what these mean, we'll go over a brief explanation about what this means and who you are as a trader and whether or not you support the cause. So if you've got paper hands, that means that you're not willing to hold the position, you're going to sell it, you're going to get scared, you're going to move on, you're going to back out, you know, whatever it may be. Think about it like that. You've got paper hands. They're flimsy. You can't hold on. If you've got diamond hands, that means you can't be broken. You're holding the position, we're going to the moon, and you're not going to back down. You're holding the line, and you're really going to show these Wall Street big boys, right? That's, I don't know what else to call them. We're going to show them that the retail investor has power and that they can't go do this. They can't manipulate the market. They can't tell people when they can buy stocks and when they can't buy stocks and make up rules as they go. You know, they can blame it on whatever they want. They can blame it on volatility, on liquidity, and blah, blah, blah. But at the end of the day, we know what it is, and it's not fair, right? So that's why we got to hold the line. And if you thought that maybe things were getting bad, we've seen the volatility in these stocks. You know, we saw GameStop go from $420 a share back down to about $112 per share. Guess where it's at today? It's back up around $325 per share, and the volatility wasn't too crazy today. We saw it, we saw it trade at a nice, I don't want to say steady line, because it was bouncing back and forth between $250 and $350 and so on, and yeah, that's kind of volatile, but a lot less volatile than the day before. AMC, the same thing. We closed around $8 per share yesterday. Where were we today? $13 per share almost all day long. I don't want to say steady line on AMC either, but it certainly wasn't showing the amount of volatility that we've had in the recent days. So what does this mean? This means that investors aren't going out. This means that investors are holding. They're not selling this stock. They're not afraid to get out of it. And what's one of the reasons, right? If you're not familiar with the Wall Street Bets Reddit, you can go on there. You can see everybody's getting involved. It's on the local news channels. It's on the, the national news channels. What Robin Hood is doing, what these big banks are doing, it's, it's almost egregious, right? It's like nobody wants to see a cheater win. So guess who's getting involved? Everybody. If you go on the forum, you can see people are getting involved, not just in the United States. It's not just the you know boys from the United States anymore that are investing and the young millennials that are investing. Everybody's getting involved. You can see people in Canada, people in Asia, people in Brazil, people all over the world are wanting to see what can be done and what's going to happen with this short squeeze. It's epic. There's no other way to describe it. We've never seen anything like this especially in recent history where a group of investors, we say group, right? We, you know, you say group, you think of a small group of guys. This Reddit forum is already 6 million strong, and that's only the people on Reddit. You think about it, everybody that's investing and backing this movement, the numbers are in the tens of millions. It's not just us against them anymore. It's the whole world against them now, and you should feel good, and you should know that you can hold strong since everybody has your back. It's not just the few, it's not just the strong, but it's everybody now. So what are we looking at here? If you're holding this position, where can we see it go? If you're not in this position, should you be buying? Look, this is definitely still a speculative play, right? If you don't have the money to invest, if you don't have the money to hold, it's okay. Support this in another way. If you support the cause, but you don't have the money to invest, what can you do? You can let somebody know what's going on. You can share this video. You can write a post on, on Reddit. You can do something to let people know that this movement is happening and this movement has legs. If you do have the money to invest, do you have to go out and buy 100 shares of GameStop or 100 shares of AMC? Absolutely not. If you have an account to invest in and you want to get started, guys, it takes one share. AMC is around $13 per share right now. If you want to invest in it, if you want to hold, if you want to say, I was a part of history, it just takes one share to say that you were involved, right? What's, I mean, I don't want to say what's $13 to somebody, but you can be willing to hold a $13 share and watch it go to the moon, or even if it pulls back a little bit, it's okay, right? 
But if you don't have the money, I just want to say share it in a way that could be free for you and just let people know about it. That's really going to help the cause. And trust me, it, it'll help just as much as being able to buy, one, buy and hold one share. Now, if you're already invested, you're thinking about taking your profit, right? Especially if you got in a while ago and you've seen your shares increase 2x, 3x, 40x, whenever it is that you got in, should you take your profit? Guys, it's not time yet. We need to hold the line. We got to have those diamond hands. And when the time comes, we'll know that the time is there, right? But it's not time yet. The boys are waving the white flag. They're getting scared. They know they're cheating and we're going to call them out on it. Everybody knows what's going on now, and this is perhaps one of the most important times in the market history. So where could these shares go? Could we see a thousand for GameStop? Absolutely. Could we see a thousand for AMC? Absolutely. It's all up to you guys and what we're willing to do. That's it. You know, we're going to have the pressure coming down from the top. It's going to be trying to push us down. But as long as you guys stay strong and we keep moving it up and we keep moving forward, it's going to go up, right? It's us versus them. We've already got our sides laid out. And guys, we literally could take these prices to the moon. Now, if you like the content, before we even go with that, now I always want to know who's invested in these stocks, who believes in this movement, who's got AMC, who's got GameStop, what's going on. If you guys got the diamond hands, if you're willing to hold, or if you're thinking about taking your profits, let us know down in the comments below, guys. Stay strong together. Let us know who's backing this movement, where you're from, if it's just in the US, or if you're global, let us know. Now, if you like the content on this channel, please make sure to click that like button. If the subscribe button is still red, I don't know why you got one more shot. Make sure to subscribe to the channel and become a bro. And if you like the video as well and you want to share it and you want to get this message out there, make sure to share the video and you can tag me almost anywhere at Claybro. And until the next time, guys, I hope that each and every one of you have an awesome day.